baby love. So good at sitting. Hey guys, today I'm going to finally show you the flip through of my new Filofax Malden. I've uh, switched up the, um, the guts of this just a little bit from when I was in the Asian Vintage TN notebook that I was in previously. I picked this up uh, mid-November and I'm loving it. It's uh, in the color Stone, which is really pretty. I just, I, I like neutral colors. Like I, uh, for a while wanted to get like a, those green, the Darcy leather maybe, um, in this Chic Sparrow. The green and the yellow, they're gorgeous, but I don't think that I could really deal with it for too long. Um, because I, like even the red and the blue that I got, it, I got the, um, Time Traveler is the blue and wine is the red of the Outlander leather, also Chic Sparrow. And after a while, those started to get kind of tiring too. So I prefer something neutral. So anyway, let's take a look. This has all of these wonderful pockets. In here, I'm not going to show you, but I have my driver's license and a credit card. In here, I have a quarter because I thought I might need it for a grocery cart, but nope. Um, but that's where change can go. I don't have that much. Uh, this is a Target gift card. This has a little bit of cash and one, or no, yes, and one check and some stamps. No, the cash I moved back here. The cash is in the back. Um, this back pocket, the reason I got, like, didn't consider moving into personal is that the pocket size has this back pocket on it, which I just think is so cool and it's actually just the right size to hold a piece of letter size paper um, <laughs> folded in half. And you can stick it in here. So if I'm, you know, out somewhere doing whatever and they have like a handout, I can just fold it in half and stick it in here until I get home and can put it somewhere else. Uh, let's take a look at the back pockets real quick. I think there's nothing currently in this one. And this is just some notes on something I probably should move these somewhere else. But this is um, from like a miniature, um, I don't know if I have it, like this small size, um, legal pads you know the little ones like five by seven i think and that's folded in half and that fits in this pocket it's a little bit tricky i shouldn't have pulled it out but that does fit in there so i find that's just really convenient um the only thing that's not convenient is the uh that post-it notes are just a little bit too long to fit very comfortably anyway that's the pockets i'm still using my pilot friction it's a little bit too big for my um for the pen loop here. So I have not been using the pen loop. I've just been keeping my pen like this in the rings. Then I just close it up and then I just have to remember to pull it out because the pages won't turn very well if this is in the rings. Okay, so these are the same t uh, tabs that I got way back in my original ring planner haul video. Yeah? Here, play with your wand. <laughs> All right. Um, the this is just like a dashboard i got a sprocket for my birthday and so there's some pictures of my baby so that whenever i'm looking in my planner she's there and smiling and reminding me that she's awesome this is what i do it all for um this is my next action items list i'm going to do a whole video on just this one so look out for that in a couple days um then this is the recurring tasks i printed this out from peanuts planner co it was in the hall that I did uh, at the beginning of the month. So I've moved everything onto here, but it only starts in January. So everything that was on December, I put on the monthly. <laughs> this is the same old, uh, my Hogwarts to-do list. I've got a waiting on list, which I've actually used for a couple of things, which is awesome <laughs> for a change. Um, so this is the someday maybe list. That's also part of GTD. But then I was kind of looking at my different um, categories of, of like, different projects that I wanted to work on. And there were some that I kind of, I wanted to put them on a currently projects list. I keep trying to make some sort of current projects list, but it's not really coming together right. Um, so instead I've got someday maybe and a soon definitely list. Like these are things I really do need to do, um, but I'm not currently working on them yet. And then I'm not really sure, I should have like a, a now list, you know, but I'll figure that out. Anyway, so that's the front section of my like to-do lists. Next section is monthlies. I've got my monthly here. I did a setup video or a plan with me for this. You can see I'm doing okay on my tracker. I'm using this to track some um, 
Just to keep track of baby's, uh, you're going to gag yourself. Uh, what's it called? Milestones. She's playing peekaboo and she's sitting up really well, which you just saw. Um, and so I've got my monthly just for the one month. And then this is the future log for 2019. So for the future, and I'll use that to set up January. And then this is a list of birthdays. So each one just has the date, who it is, and what year they were born, if I know, or if it matters. I don't care what year my grandma was born. That would be rude. Uh, the next section here, previous to this setup, I was doing dailies and weeklies interspersed, and I have a couple of weeks from the past in here. So um, that's why you've got some dailies here, but this is my weeklies section. So weekly, weekly, weekly. Last week, I did setups of these two. This is where I am right now. Um, so this is going forward just weeklies. And then the next, so I'm like kind of working off the weekly and the next actions list. Like I said, I'll go into more of the next actions list in a future video. Um, but I've been using this weekly and I'm starting to think that maybe I should try a different one. But for now, this is where I am and it's working. Then the next section uh, marked by this bow. Yeah. This next section is dailies. So I've been using this freebie daily. Um, from Peanuts Planner Co. It's nice because it's big and it's pretty unstructured. Um, oh, there's some packing lists. And it allows me to use like a timed uh, section here. So like this day, today I just marked like when I was working, but often I will um, mark off when the baby is napping like this. Um, just so that I can keep track of that when I'm keeping track of that. Um, and so that's a separate section uh, as a thing. I'm trying that out. I have so many more tabs in here. I have double the tabs. So I figured I would give it a separate section. Next section, reference. Um, this is my debt tracker. Same old, same old. Gift ideas covered up, of course, so they don't see it. This is my wish list for my Christmas stuff. I've been adding stuff here and then adding it to my Amazon wish list to share with people who are asking. Um, the savings tracker I use to keep track of the amount we have in gift cards because we got some gift cards to Amazon and Target that we still have um, from the baby showers and stuff. And so whenever I spend some of it, you can see we bought a slip sack for the baby and then I have to do the math and figure out how much we have left. Um, this is a list of things that I want to watch. I know it says to binge, but basically anything that I've been meaning to want. Um, and so some of the things I cross out after I started watching and then decided to change my mind or whatever. But what I'm, I did watch, uh, Mrs. Maisel season two and it's like the day it came out. And then I've been working on the West Wing. Um, cause I've never seen that before. Oh, baby love. You want to be part of my video, huh? You want to say hi? Hello. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, this, I want to do a video about this too, but basically serious night is when my husband and I have stuff to talk about that's uncomfortable or difficult. Um, and so this page has sort of some free form journaling and some lists of topics that stuff that I wanted to talk to my husband about. And, uh, it is of course not for you guys to see. And then the next section is MH stuff, uh, my Hogwarts. So I've got the year at a glance from last year and or from this year and next year, um, just sort of marking off when uh, each year starts and ends. Uh, and just so that I can quickly look and say, OK, look, that's, you know, year whatever. And, you know, you, week five of whenever is this date useful. This is my record of whiz you stuff. I think I've shown all these before. And to people who care, you can ask if you have questions. Um, some notes that I had for stuff with Wiz U, some sort of a project page, I guess. Again, sort of a project page since I need to change with astronomy. And then this is the scholarship that I was working on that nobody ended up applying for. But I'm keeping this handy until I can find somewhere to um, to keep it for future reference because we're going to do that again, but not for another like six months. So, And then this next section, I just sort of put this together today, but um, I have a section now dedicated to baby stuff. So I have a list I printed out here of milestones for 46 months, baby's 
uh, just over five months, almost five and a half, I guess. And so she's been meeting most of these, and I'm just checking them off every so often um, just to see how we are because, you know, it's fun. And then this is blank right now, um, but I'm going to add all the questions I have for the doctor before our next appointment in January. So it's good to have a place for that. And then this is the wish list for her. Um, everything that has a dot I've well, already added to um, a wish list on Amazon that I share with the grandparents, and so that's useful. And then this is... Um, the child care calendar for the last few months of who's watching here each day. It's color coded. I know what the color codes mean. And then there's some notes on the side. Um, then this is a quick like list of things that I need to remember to pack in her diaper bag when she goes to the babysitter's house. And then this is going to be that same um, color coded child care calendar for the next year. Um, I probably won't need it for the whole year. I feel like at some point we're going to get something a little bit more stable, but we'll see. And that's what I've got for now. And then, why? You want your mommy film? Yes, help me out. So I also have in here the tabs that came with the file effects. So these are the file effects tabs and they're numbered. And I was like, these are ugly. What am I going to use these for? But then I realized index. And this is pretty awesome. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Thank you for helping. So I have um, this list sort of paper clipped to the front one so that it doesn't take up its own section. Um, but Basically, these are all on sticky notes so that I can remove them and reuse this page. And each of these six tabs is on this uh, this index. So this is supposed to be for projects. Um, each section gets, each project gets its own section in theory. Um, the brain dump has to take the last tab unless I find something else to delineate that. Um, but I've got Christmas lists of things to do and stuff. They're nothing special. Um, here I've got some game notes. Um, in this section. Some of these can be consolidated or removed probably if I need a section, but I figured I may as well spread out. And so yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. Like this is a project I'm working on, so it has its own section. Um, and then all my YouTube stuff is in this section. I still have this little sticker. It's fun. Remember to save. This here is proprietary. Actually, most of this is probably should be secret. Um, this is my content calendar, and then video ideas, and then some video notes, and some other things and that I don't really want to show you. Okay. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. I have a brain dump in the back that I need. It's filled up and I need to replace. Yeah. Then this is my uh, grocery list that I didn't finish buying everything, so I just figured I'd leave it in here. And then after this piece of acetate are some spare pages. And then in the back, I've got stickers, a few header stickers that I never use. A couple of these that also I never use, but they fit in here and I've got them punched. And then little bits of spare washi tape that uh, I don't want to like stick it back on the roll. I don't want to throw it out. I just stick it on the acetate so that I can pull it straight out and use them. And then these are jot pads. It came with it. I think I might do a video about uh, about the jot pad as well. Because they've been actually more useful than I thought they'd be. But they're just these little notepads. And then in the back, I've got the pocket that the planner came with. Yeah. Mommy's trying to talk too. Um, I have my ultimate membership card that like, I never use. Um, and it just has some washi tape wrapped around it. Stuck in there for use. So that is everything. Thank you. Um, if the baby talking has been distracting you, I apologize for that, but she's here. I think we would get this done. So thanks for watching. I hope that you found that useful or interesting. If you have questions about any specific section, like leave me a comment because I'm always looking for topic ideas and I can use that as one of my vlogmas videos. Um, but in the meantime, subscribe so that you don't miss them. I will be posting another video tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.